What's going on guys? I know it's been a while. Uh, I put my van away for the winter months here in Canada. Um, it's starting to get a little bit warmer. It's not as bad as it was um, like the last couple months, but it's still definitely uh, pretty cold. So um, I actually pulled my van up into the driveway because I actually stored it for the winter. Um, just because I don't want to drive it, mainly because I don't want to uh, have a bunch of rust from the salt that they put down on the roads. Um, so it's kind of just sitting here. I've been working on it. I got uh, a couple new things for it. Uh, you guys have been asking me. Um, I've been posting some pictures on Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, I'll leave it down in the description uh, to check it out because I post a lot of photos on there, like my progress. Um, I just decided not to make van build videos really anymore uh, mainly because I just find them boring to watch and uh, there's so many people doing it I, uh, I'd rather just do little van van updates than build videos um, I just find them boring to watch so I uh, hope you guys kind of agree with that um, I'm gonna take you over all the stuff that I've done since the spring some of the things I've got some of the things I've changed uh, but yeah let's get right into it the first thing I got was this Renogy 100 watt solar panel as you can see, I drilled a hole right here. Then I put a grommet and put a slice through the grommet and I fed the wires through that. Um, there's uh, RV silicone on there so no water can get in and uh, it's sealed really, really well. Down here, I have my solar solar charger and it's this the uh, Renogy Wander um, solar charger. The, the wires came down through here behind here I took this whole not the whole wall but I took about four panels off so I could feed it down here um, the panels the uh, solar panel wires come down here come out here as well as the battery I'll show you where I have the battery um, in a second but that's my solar charger so where I'm keeping my battery right now is actually under my bed so you lift up my mattress here then there's this piece of wood that's not screwed down right now then I have it just tucked in right there I'm just using a RV slash marine battery for right now. Um, I didn't pay for this, I got it for free. So I've just been playing around with it and uh, trying to get uh, trying to get used to solar because I've never had it before. I don't know how stuff uh, draws. So I just wanted to set it up and uh, kind of play with it. I don't know how many amp hours that is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 200. Um, I could be wrong, which I probably am wrong, but it does say 200 on it. And that's not cranking power, it just says 200. Um, doesn't say amp hours or anything like that, but uh, I'm just playing with this for right now until I get a um, I want to get a hundred amp hour uh, AGM sealed deep cycle battery, but that's where it's gonna go anyway I'm gonna build a nice little box in there for it to sit in there and uh, it's out of the way I was thinking about putting it under my van, but I uh, I thought this is a better alternative because there's a little bit of dead space there and a little bit of dead space over behind this one too so if I want to get another one I can uh, have one here 100 amp then 100 amp here because um, I do plan on getting another panel that's uh, in the future I'm gonna show you guys how I did mount this panel because it's a little bit different from how it is supposed to so I just mounted it right here on my um, actual roof racks and um, when you buy these panels it has uh, two holes right here right there and two on the other side to put these what I had to do is actually um, drill new holes for these plates to go on and uh, these bolts are already starting to rust out a bit um, I got to pick up some stainless ones these are the only ones I had at the moment so um, that's why they're there but uh, yeah I just put it on my roof rack so I didn't have to drill right into my roof the only hole I had to was for that like I mentioned earlier so I'm pretty happy about that and if I want I can just move this over and uh, pop some new holes and have two up here if I wanted um, it would fit just perfect I'd literally have like three inches to uh, play with so um, that's that's down the road for now I'm really happy with uh, the one 100 watt I know I showed you guys this last year but uh, this is my uh, kind of this like accessory port got two USBs my voltage as well as a 12 volt um, cigarette lighter I do plan on getting a inverter um, I've been kind of playing with this this is hooked up this is wired right to my battery so it's at 14.2 which is pretty much a full charge um, so I hooked that up right to my battery which is awesome before I had this hooked up right to my starter battery 
So uh, I had to rewire that, which didn't take too, too long. But uh, I do plan on getting an inverter, and I want to screw it up underneath my uh, this board here. This is going to go up underneath. Then I think I might have like a house outlet somewhere um, right here. Or I might have one, I don't know yet. Um, I'm either going to put it like a little house outlet right here and just paint it black and make it look all nice. Or uh, something else that I haven't decided yet. But I thought I'd show you that. So as far as inside the van goes, I've been working on this door a bit. Um, I just put all this Reflectix up. Um, what my plan is with this is I want to uh, panel it like the rest of this wood. I'm going to have a panel across. Then it's going to come out. Up here it's going to come out a bit. Um, about, I'd say, three inches or so. It's going to be a frame all the way around the window. Then inside that frame, I'm going to build my uh, curtain. It's going to be a little curtain rod. So you can actually open curtains and stuff. But that's... That's down the road. I'm slowly working on this because uh, it's uh, it's kind of just, I don't need it right now. So I've just been kind of taking my time with it and uh, doing a little bit here and there. Also picked up a heater. I picked up a Mr. Heater. This is a little buddy. And it works pretty well for this van. Um, it's not that big of a space, so it uh, warms up really well. Um, I haven't done any winter camping, but... Um, in the spring it's still going to be very cold at night so that's definitely a must uh, to have especially in the spring um, when it's getting down to uh, zero still at night time so last year i had a little gray water tank under here it was exactly the same as that um, blue i think it's just uh, 10 gallons or something like that um, it's not super big but i did have it down here and it collected all my gray water um, one thing that I noticed after uh, about a week, if I didn't empty it every week, even if I had the littlest bit of water in there, I didn't want to dump it because it was just a little bit, it would collect some mold and like algae, like just like gross stuff. So I decided to take that out. And all I have now is just a 5 8 clear um, hose with a little ball valve. Um, I think that's what it's called, like a little ball valve. Uh, thing right there then down here. I just have a grommet and some more of that um, RV silicone so no moisture can come up and that just goes right through my floor and outside So I've simplified this a lot um, If you guys have an Astro or a Safari um, There's a heater core that go it's like right here in this area um, when you take it out uh, There's two hoses that come up one it's like a feeding and a receiving and so the holes are already there and they and this hose fits perfect down um, So I just drilled up through underneath to find where it was then I came in here with just like a little reamer bit Just drilled that out and it fits perfect. Then I just uh, silicone around that for um, a little extra security um, So that no water or moisture and stuff can come up. So uh, yeah Pretty cool really happy on the little design um, so this thing I wanted to put this in just for stealth purposes so if I'm somewhere and I don't want water trickling out underneath my um, van I can just have that shut like so and um, I'll have this much well I'll have the whole sink to fill up but um, I'll have at least this before it gets to the sink um, say if I'm brushing my teeth or you know just just small amounts of water um, I can have it just sitting in there then uh, when I can get to a spot, I can just open that and uh, let it out. So uh, that was definitely one thing I wanted to do to keep it more stealth. So I have all this space now. Um, I'm thinking about putting my cooler in here. And I want to build a little emergency toilet type thing that I'm going to put back in that corner. So it's going to be pretty much as uh, big as the um, like of whatever those pails are, like the five gallon pails you can get. I'm gonna have to cut it down a bit so I can fit in here, but it's gonna go back in that corner. Then I can put all my um, my stuff in that, um, like my toilet paper and stuff like that, as well as my uh, um, dish supplies, like my soap, um, towels, just extra stuff like that. I can have it all in there, so it'll save room as well. But I have this whole open spot now which uh, which I'm really happy about. So the last thing I want to show you guys is actually something I've been working on for a bit. Um, is one of the main things I wanted to change in the uh, for the springtime. Um, when I'm cooking and stuff, it's uh, it's kind of hard to 
um, cause I have no table space. So I want to, I wanted to build a table in here somehow. Um, I was thinking about putting one right here on the door and it kind of lifted up, but I wanted it so that nothing changed in here, but I still wanted a table. So I didn't want like extra wood or an extra, um, kind of table to be carrying around. I was thinking about putting it behind my seat and taking it out when I needed it. Um, so what I actually decided was turning this, um, the top of my stove into a kitchen or a tabletop. So what I did was actually, oh, I got a cool little skillet too for 10 bucks. That, that's good. That's a good buy right there. Um, what I actually did was I put a, I don't know what these are called, but I got it at Home Depot. It's just a iron, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like threaded. It's like a flange, threaded flange, I guess. So I got that from Home Depot and it was only a couple bucks. Then um, you can't really see it, but I have one on the floor as well. And all I did was I put a uh, PL glue around this Then I just screwed these in and uh, it's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So I have a pipe here. I bought this from Home Depot as well. And my buddy Aaron, uh, shout out to Aaron, he uh, threaded it for me. So all this does, it just screws right into this piece that's on the ground. Like so. Then this. Just turns right on. It's like so. And when I'm cooking and stuff, say that I'm cooking with this pan, I can have all my stuff over here. And I can work on my computer here. Um, as you can see, my head is kind of, I can't sit up perfectly straight in here. I'm about 6'1". I'm looking at a high top for this van or I think I might just sell this van and buy a Sprinter. I don't know yet. Um, I don't spend that much time in here, so it doesn't really hurt my neck or anything like that. Um, but it would be nice if I could stand up um, in my van. Um, this was kind of just like a starter van. I love the thing to death, don't get me wrong. Um, I've put a lot of work and a lot of um, trial and error into it. And um, I'm constantly trying to make it better for myself and uh, make everything easier. But uh, I think it's just time to, I wanna find one for this van because it gets great um, miles per gallon. It gets about 24, 25 highway, which is good for a van um, compared to like a cargo van that would only get about 12, 12 miles per gallon, 12 to 15 um, highway. So I've been thinking a lot. Um, I've been looking if uh, if the right van comes up. Um, I think I might put this up for sale, but I don't know yet. Um, just because I like it so much. It, it is small, but um, it does me really well, and I it's it's just so stealthy. I can literally um, park anywhere, and uh, no one even knows. So those are some thoughts that have been running through my head lately. I would like to uh, find a high top for this because I know they did make them. Um, um, another option was looking um, for someone who makes custom high tops and uh, possibly getting one of those. All I would need is probably about a foot, six inches to a foot so I can sit straight up. Um, but yeah, I've been looking around for those. Uh, if you guys know anybody, if you live, even in the States, like if you live like in Michigan or um, Detroit or like Buffalo, New York, anything close to the Canadian border and you know somebody that has um, one, I'll drive over and pick it up and uh, I'll even shoot you some money for finding me one as well because they are kind of hard to uh, come by. Um, but yeah, uh, I did have to make one modification to my stove top since this sticks down a bit i was hoping that it would just go kind of through the uh, the two bars but i ended up just cutting it you can kind of see right there i just cut out that middle bar and it just sits perfectly right right in there 
then that's uh, that's how that lays out. I really like it. Cool little table. I uh, fits my computer and everything perfect. I'm really excited for uh, this upcoming season. Um, I uh, I've been just been so excited this year. I can go right when uh, the weather starts to get a little bit nicer. Um, last year I was still building my van at this time and I still built my van into May, June, which is prime, prime traveling time because it's not super, super hot out. Um, so I'm going to say like mid April or so I'm going to, uh, start traveling, doing a lot of fishing, uh, camping, uh, bushcraft stuff. If, uh, and you guys are into that, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of that this summer. Um, I'm even thinking about doing some portages and stuff. Um, some backpacking trips if you guys are interested in that uh, that'd be cool I I think I'm going to put it up anyway because I kind of want my channel to be um, kind of like a TV channel like uh, like it's just like an outdoors kind of TV channel um, so it'd be like van fishing camping and if you guys don't like it um, just skip that video like you know like how you would skip a channel or like an episode on a channel um, I think I'm I think I might do that just because uh, I want like more variety um, than just the van, um, focusing on just the van. So uh, those are some of the thoughts for uh, early 2017 springtime. Uh, I'm really happy on how the van's turning out. I'm really, ha I'm really happy that I have solar now. Um, that was one thing that I did want to get. Um, I won't be running much off it because all my lights in here are just uh, double A's. Uh, I got one, two, three, and I I'm gonna get one for right here as well because uh, at nighttime when I come in here, um, it's kind of hard sometimes to reach all the way to the back there and turn that one on. So I'm just gonna put one about right here on the same panel as that one. So it'd uh, look pretty good. Then I'll just put it right there and I can just tap that when I come in. I also still have my Goal Zero lantern that I use a lot. And um, I even charge stuff off it, which is cool. But yeah. I hope you liked uh, today's little update video. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, just drop it down in the comments. Um, give, the video, give the video a thumbs up if you do like it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot again for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.